Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka Kodash, Barakatam. I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth, who rule well, who labor in this word, giving us Akim across the four corners of the globe, the proper breakdowns of these scriptures of the Holy Bible, all through the power and spirit of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. And I also want to give a sincere peace, blessings, and salutations to all you Akim across the four corners of the globe that are out here pushing this gospel which is the good news of the Holy Bible in all truthfulness and sincerity. You so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos, you so-called Native Americans, as well as you confusion the face brothers, who may look like the other heathen nations, but in fact and indeed, your bloodline goes back to the seed of a so-called Negro, a so-called Latino, and a so-called Native American. Now with that, you know, the Spirit was on me to put together a video uh, epistle on uh, Romans chapter 8 and I'm going to start at uh, verse 35 and we're going to get straight into it and it reads who shall separate us from the love of Yahweh Shai shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword so Khan that's something that us Akim that are striving of the hopeful elect that we need to uh, ask ourselves, man. Uh, what shall separate us from the love of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, man? Our Lord and Savior who died on the cross, the sacrificial land to redeem us, the nation of Israel, to redeem the so-called Negro, the so-called Latino, the so-called Native American, man. I'm going to read that again. This is Romans chapter 8, starting at verse 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai? Shall tribulation? Because we, we're surely about to go through uh, tribulation, man. Those of us that are in the know, uh, the scripture says, uh, through much tribulation shall ye enter into the uh, kingdom of heaven, man. Uh, continue on. It says, or distress, or persecution, or famine. Or nakedness, or peril, or the sword, man. Verse 36. As it is written, for thy sake, we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Because, Khan, those of us who are of the hopeful elect, man, this devil Esau, he's about to ride down on us, man. And a lot of us are going to get killed, man. You know? Not all of us. The scripture says that some of us shall not uh, see death, man. But shoot, we, like this, this scripture says, for thy sake, we are killed all the day long. Come for Yahweh Shai's sake, man. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Didn't Yahweh Shai say he sent us out as sheep among wolves, man? Verse 37. Nay, which is no. In all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us, man. So, Khan, the, the 144,000 elect are not going to be persuaded, man. They're, they're not going to be, uh, you know, deceived. Though some would have would be deceived, but the, the 144,000 elect are not going to be, be deceived. Uh, verse 38. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come. Con. So neither the threat of death or us dying, nor living this life, nor angels. An angel can't even come down and uh, persuade the uh elect man of the uh heavenly father son Yahweh shy man nor principalities these demons you know the elect are gonna fight demons man you know us brothers in this truth we we are played with demons every day all day day in and day out man we have to rebuke demons in the name of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai 
constantly, man. Every day, all day. You know? Uh, verse 39. Nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of the Most High Yahweh, which is in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, our Lord, man. So nothing is going to be able to separate the 144,000 elect, man, from the love of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, which is in his son, Yahweh Shai, man. So, uh, Khan, uh, I want to get another preset, man, because, see, in order to make our calling an election sure, as the scripture says, in order to uh, keep the love of the Heavenly Father in order to maintain it, man. Because we, like I always say, and like all the Akim, other Akim, the Akim that came before me, starting with our apostles and elders, man, we are the we are of the hopeful elect because we don't know if we are the elect, man. We don't know if Yahweh Shai is, uh, if we're his men, man. So what do we do? We We strive to make our calling an election sure. And one of the things that we must keep in mind is we can't uh, have any uh, parts of this world, man. So with that, I want to get uh, the book of First John, uh, chapter 2, and I'm going to start at uh, verse 15. And it reads, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. So come, man. You can't we can't be in this thing halfway, man. You know? We we can't be going out on uh camp day, you know, calling on the name of the Lord in the name of his son, cussing out Esau, cussing out the two thirds, but then every other day until next camp. We want to be fucking rap superstars, man. We want to be fucking uh, the next LeBron James, man. You know, we we worry about who the next skinny jean wearing faggot rapper who beefing with the next rapper, man. You know, uh, just being concerned with all the fashions of this world, man. I'm going to read that again. This is First John chapter 2. In verse 15, and it reads, uh, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. So, Khan, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, is not in you, man, if you are loving this world, because this world is Satan's world, man. You know? It's, it's the... Uh, it's the uh, spiritual uh, demon Satan's world, and he runs it through his f the the physical uh, demons, which is the so-called white man, the devil man, which is the Edomites. So, Khan, continuing on in verse sixteen, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not of the Father Yahweh, but it's of the world. And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of the Most High Yahweh abideth forever, man. So, Khan, we that doeth the will of the Heavenly Father Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, we abideth forever, man. And what is the will? What is love according to the Bible, man? Because like the scripture says, nothing is going to be able to separate us from the love. My opening scripture in Romans chapter uh, uh, 8, and I believe it was in verse 38. Nothing shall be able to separate us from the love of the Heavenly Father. Well, what is the love of the Heavenly Father? We're going to get that, man. This is going to be the book of 1 John chapter 5 and verse 3. This is love, man. For this is the love of the most high Yahweh, that we keep his commandments and his commandments are not grievous so come what are the commandments of the heavenly father man you know we can't keep them all all the law statutes and commandments of the heavenly father but should we keep the ones that we can to the best of our ability not eating pork 
uh, not committing adultery, you know, uh, sleeping with other men's wives, uh, not being covetous, which is wanting what another man got, you know, uh, not being fucking homosexuals, you know. That's the love that we keep his commandments. And guess what? His commandments not grievous. Because the reason why the Heavenly Father told us not to eat pork, crabs, and shrimp, and he gave us dietary laws because those creatures were created to clean the earth, man. Shrimps and crabs are bottom feeders. Catfish are bottom feeders. They are uh, they are the garbage disposals of the sea life, man, of the sea world. Pigs are the garbage disposal of the land, man. You know? So his statu- his commandments aren't grievous. They're meant to help us. Man, continuing on with my next uh, precept. This is going to be... Um, the book of Romans, chapter 13. Come on. This is the book of Romans, chapter 13. And I'm going to start at 10, and I'm going to read down to 14, man. And Because and, and, this is a precept to what love is, according to the Heavenly Father. People got love twisted. They think it's an emotional thing, man. But love, we going by what the Bible says. Fuck what man created or what man think love is. This is Romans chapter 13 and verse 10, and it reads, Love worketh no ill will to his neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. So kind. Like the scripture says in uh, Judges chapter 5 and verse 11, uh, and I'm roughly paraphrasing, we shall rehearse the righteous acts, man, in the land of our captivity. So let me get that real quick since I'm uh, there. Uh. This is the book of Judges, chapter 5 and verse 11, man. And it reads, They that are delivered from the noise of the archers in the places of drawing water, and that drawing water means uh, the land of captivity. They There shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, even the righteous acts toward the inhabitants of his villages in Israel. Then shall the people of the Lord, Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai, go down to the gates. So, Khan, we, we are to rehearse the uh, righteous acts, man. Uh, going back into the book of uh, Romans, uh, chapter 13. Khan, and I'm going to start at verse 11. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than we believe, man. So, kind. that's why we can't uh, love the ways of this world, man, because our salvation is nearer than we uh, believe, man. We got to wake up out of that sleep, out of that slumber. Verse 12, the night is far spent, and that night is Esau's rule, man, Esau's reign. It is far spent, man. It's past due. His time for rulership on this earth, the so-called white man, this devil, uh, his time is over with, man. It's well, it, it is far spent. The day is at hand. And what is that? What is the day is at hand mean? That means Jacob's rule, man. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Kind, let us cast off the works of this devil, man. Just the physical counterpart to the spiritual uh, demon Satan, which is these Edomites, man. Uh, verse 13 let us walk honestly as in the day not in rioting and drunkenness not in chambering and wantonness not in strife and envying man right we're not supposed to uh us Aki man we supposed to all be on one accord man we're not to po- supposed to be striving with each other we're not supposed to be envying another brother man we are one body man we are all working for one goal man and that's to get the fuck up out of here, man. This place is fucking vexing, man. Uh, verse 14. But put ye on the Lord, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. So, Khan, with that, I'm going to get my uh, next precept. Uh, 
This is going to be the book of uh, Proverbs, chapter 8 and verse 36, and it reads, But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. All they that hate me love death. So, Khan, what is sin? Sin is the transgression of the law, man. And we just got what love is. It's the opposite of love. Sin is the opposite of love, man. I'm going to read that again. This is Proverbs chapter 8 and verse 36. But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. All they that hate me love death. So, kind. if you don't love the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, which is to keep his law, statutes, and commandments, guess what? You love death because the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, is going to put that ass to rest, man, in a very grievous and horrible way, man. So, kind. With that, I'm going to get my last precept. And this is, we're going to go into the book of Matthews, uh, chapter 22. And we're going to start at verse 37, man. Uh, and this is uh, the Pharisees seeing that the Sadducees, how shy had stumped the uh, Sadducees. So the Pharisees asked uh, Yahweh Shai what was, what was the greatest commandment. Uh, in the kingdom and so this is Matthew chapter 22 and verse 37 Yahweh Shai said unto him thou shalt love the Lord Yahweh thy power with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind man kind we, we're supposed to love the heavenly father Yahweh with all thy uh, heart which is our mind even in the New Testament the word heart when you look it up in the Strong's, it goes back to uh, your mind, man. And with all thy soul and with all thy mind, man. This is the first and great commandment, man. Selakia, uh in the Greek. So now since I, what I said, okay, let me rephrase that. This is Matthew chapter 22 and verse 37. Yahweh Shai said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord, Yahweh thy power, with all thy heart. And I'm about to prove to you that in the Old Testament, the word heart goes back to the Hebrew lab, which means mind. And even in the New Testament, this word heart right here goes to mind. And I'm going to get that, man. Uh, Salakia. So with that, uh... I'm going to get this uh, Bible app. Uh, my sword. I could use the blue letter or I could use my sword. They both had the strongest definitions, man. So, Khan. Uh, Matthews. We're going to go to the book of Matthews. St. Matthew chapter 22. And verse 37. Con. So I'm going to read it again. This is King James Version. Like I was just then. Yahweh Shai said unto him. Thou shalt love the Lord Yahweh. Thy power with all thy heart. So the word heart. is The strongest definition is G2588. Which the G stands for Greek. So we're going to click on that. And it's cardia. Cardia is the pronunciation. And the first definition, it says the heart, that organ in the animal body, which is in the center of the circulation of the blood, and hence was regarded as the seat of physical life. But let's continue to scroll down. And after you go through A, B, C, and D, uh, it says one, and it reads the soul or mind. As it is the fountain and the seat of the thoughts, passions, desires, appetites, affections, purposes, and endeavors. So even in the New Testament, that word heart is uh, speaking about your mind. Uh, so Khan, continuing on in uh, verse 38. This is the first and great commandment. Uh, verse 39. And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself, which is our brothers, man. Not your phys not your actual neighbor, not even all of Israel, man. The the Akim that's uh 
doing this work with us, man. The Akim and uh, Great Millstone, and also other camps such as Men of Valor, and such as DTA 144,000, those of us that are supposed to be of one accord. And continue on in verse 40, on these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. So come, you know, uh, going back into uh, Romans uh, chapter 8, and I'm a, uh, I believe it's verse 38. Uh, let me go up some I can Kyle, verse 35 I'm going to end it with this precept I mean with this scripture again who and this is a question man who shall separate us from the love of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or the sword so kind man that's a question that all of us Akim who profess to be uh, the hopeful elect need to ask ourselves, man, because we are coming into those times, man. And another thing I want to say before I uh, wrap this uh, video epistle up is you never, ever, well, I'm, I could just speak for myself. I never, ever, ever hear of these other uh, camps speaking on the elect of the nation of Israel, man. I never hear IUS, ISUPK. I never hear uh, IUIC. Uh, none of these other camps speak on the elect of the nation of Israel. They only speak on uh, the whole entire nation of Israel, which all of Israel is not Israel, man. So with that, I hope this video was, uh, those of you who may come across to find it uh, edifying, so once again, I want to say, call Haloyim, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah Kodash, Barakatam, which is all praises to the Heavenly Father in the name of His Son and the Holy Spirit. Bless you. I also want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth, who rule well, and who labor in this word. And I also want to give a sincere peace, blessings, and salutations to all you Akim across the four corners of the globe that are out here pushing this gospel in our truthfulness and sincerity. You so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos, you so-called Native Americans, as well as your confusion of faces. Uh, so with that, I want to say a ball, a ball. And the two-thirds of the nation of Israel, man, they just not going to get it, man. They have to be cleansed. They have to be purified. Adawan Rataza, Yahweh Rataza, Abu Rataza, I'm not of the two-thirds, man. So with that, I want to say Shalom.